Okay, so hello and welcome to a film mixologist. Uh, what I'm doing in this episode is I'm going to finally install the flywheel uh, on the list today. Um, and the technique I'm going to use is because today is quite a hot day, probably one of the hottest days in, in the year. It's when I'm when I'm doing this job. And so what I have is I'm going to um, use a kind of what I call the temperature difference method. So I've got the flywheel right in the sun in the hottest place that I can find it so that it really warms up. That metal expands in its entirety. And this in a relatively cool air workshop. So therefore what what that will, this will allow me now I'm going to I'm going to basically smear this in oil uh, and WD-40 probably so it's so it's well lubricated but one of the things I need to show you is all the things that I've done to get to this stage uh, because the the let's say the flywheel was a bit damaged so let me show you a bit close up some of the some of the damage so here you can see this bit here um, and if you can see around here also there is there is a little bit of, of damage. So what I had to do is I had to polish as much as I could uh, with, a, with, with kind of sandpaper all, all of this. And also what I had to do because I had to take the, the, the old key out. So this is a brand new Gib key here. But what I had to do is I had to make sure that, that the new key fits the keyway, which before, and, and that it slides in and out, this is quite important. Um, and, and the way that I had to do this, I had to file this, and I file it down, I had to file this down as well. So it was a bit of an iterative process trying to get this through so that the keyway can fit okay. I also trial fitted it in the in in the, in the flywheel and 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 that is okay so now what i need to do is obviously whilst the flywheel is outside and it is um and it's getting hot so that that metal would be expanded compared to this one now i need to lubricate this lubricate this and get this into a position where i can i can fit the flywheel uh, quite comfortably um, and then I would have to start. It'll make it more awkward to move the motor once I once I install the flywheel. Uh, but at least, um, at least technically you can fire up the motor uh, with the flywheel. You can't do it without a flywheel. I wouldn't do that. But those are the processes that I had to do before, kind of doing this. So. Um, let me see if, uh, if the flywheel is hot enough. I'm going to lubricate this, uh, and as you can see, it's quite clean. But I'm going to lubricate it really well so that that lubrication is not a problem. And then I'm going to bring the uh, the flywheel and install it in here with the new Gipsy. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. Uh, I've got the flywheel. Obviously, much hotter than this, and the theory is that it's going to slide straight in, which is doing for the time being. So, I need to give it a bit of persuasion with a rubber mallet. Boy, that took a little persuasion. But I think we're, we're we're in a good place now. Obviously, this has all been lubricated up. There you go. Nice little fitting gib key. And now what I need to do is I need to make sure this uh, goes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... First, I'm going to drive it in with some bit of wood. So what I was just going to say before the compressors kicked in was that I'm going to try and drive this with a bit of wood initially, but first, let me see if I can get it, get it out, because I want to, very gently, yeah, very gently, because I want to make sure that this is well lubricated and clean, so that I 
don't run into any lubrication problems. There we go. And there you go, yeah. So now let's drive it with a bit of wood. Okay, well, I can safely say that that isn't going anywhere. Uh, wow, still got some room. Okay, I think that, that, that should be good enough. I mean, this, this flywheel isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's check for rotation. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is brilliant. Okay, so... Another job finished in the list of D. This is like 120 degrees outside. Uh, so that's pretty much all I can do for today. But actually I'm pretty pleased that at least I could get this. And now I just need to clean this up and make sure that it doesn't rust. Yeah, and then I need to prepare for the for the other for the pulley that goes in here. But that's a story for another video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.